So one of the things we do is we look at the range of choices firms make when there is an open source platform available. Do they engage? Do they contribute? Do they lead a project? Do they join the board? And we sort of create a continuum of engagement, and then we're interested in seeing how these strategies change over time. Some firms increase their engagement over time. They step in, they start to lead a project, they uh, add more developers, and they really in integrate their competitive offerings with the platform's offerings. Other firms that we saw pull back. They may have started to contribute to a platform, and then they start to learn, and they pull back. And so we were curious as to, as to why that is. And then there's some firms that go back and forth. They engage, they disengage, they pull back. And our, our, our next job is to really figure out explaining why there's this difference in engagement over time. Well, one of the things that's really interesting about platforms and ecosystems is that ecosystems thrive on diversity. So we look at when there was the most diverse amount of firms contributing at each different phase in the platform's transition. And it was when the governance rules were most clear and well established is when we had the highest amount of participation and the most diverse participation. So this should matter to any company that is running a platform or wants to change their platform, they want to open it, um, is to figure out how you move through this transition quickly so that you get to a point of stability so that the other firms around you can adapt their strategies. It's hard to think about the digitization of the economy without thinking about platforms. But most of the scholarship is really focused on the developers and designers of those platforms. I'm really curious about all of the individuals, firms, entrepreneurs, and startups that are trying to create a living working with these platforms. So if the platform set the rules and that affects um, the payoff structure for all the people around it, um, how do they adapt? And we don't know a lot about the other side of the platform. So I think the, the thing that I'd like to see more research on is, is figuring out how we, how we understand the other side of these platforms. When I think about firms encountering digitization of the economy, um, one of the things that is tricky to manage is that the way in which digital rules, capabilities unfold is not always visible. So there are algorithms out there that predict what we see, what's available to buy. Would you like this? Would you like that? And you don't always know, as a consumer, as a firm, why you're ending up where you end up, because this is all driven to the background. So um, I think a, a, a strong area for future research is thinking about the ways in which the hidden rules behind technology that we don't know about, we don't see, the hidden side of digitization, how is that affecting our behavior in ways that we don't know?